Lesson 4.2c, Writing an Equation for a Proportional Relationship. A proportional relationship is a relationship between two amounts. The ratio of one amount to the other is constant. The relationship doesn't change. If we had a proportion of 15 to 5, which is 3, or 30 to 10, which is 3, or 45 to 15, which is 3, we can see there's a proportional relationship between this one and this one, and this one and this one, and even this one and this one. They're all three. It's a constant. If X and Y represent unknown amounts, and there is a proportional relationship between them, we can describe that relationship using the equation Y is equal to KX for K is multiplied to X, whatever the values are. If we divide both sides of this equation by X, so we're going to divide this side by X and divide this side by X, we get an X over X, which is a 1. That means we have K times 1, and identity property, anything multiplied by 1 keeps its identity. So then we have K on this side of the equal sign and Y over X on this side of the equal sign. We can flip it around so that the k is over here, then equals y over x. So if that was confusing, let me show you again. We have y is equal to k over x. We divide both sides of the equation, both sides of the equal sign, by x. So we have y divided by x and kx divided by x. We have an x over x, which makes a 1. That means we have y divided by x is equal to k. If y was 15 and k was 3 and x was 5, we'd have 15 is equal to 3 times 5. If we divide both sides of the equation by 5, we have 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. Do you see how we did that? So now we've got y divided by x is equal to k. In this equation, y is equal to k times x, the variable x is the independent variable. An independent variable has a value that is independent of another variable. Its value is not based on another variable. The variable y is the dependent variable. A dependent variable has a value that depends on another variable. Its value is based on another variable. And the variable k is called the constant of proportionality. It represents the constant rate of change, or constant ratio, between x and y. The value of k is represented by the equation k is equal to y divided by x. That is, the constant of proportionality is equal to the dependent variable divided by the independent variable. And in some situations, either variable can be considered the dependent variable. We might consider the number of pounds of grapes, y, that we can buy, depending on the money, x, that we can spend. If the grapes cost $1.05 per pound, in this case, the equation would be y, the number of pounds of grapes that we can buy, is equal to 1 over $1.05, times the amount of money x that we can spend. So we know this x is being multiplied to the 1 over the $1.05, right? And since we're multiplying them, we can write the x over 1 and multiply straight across. That means we have y is equal to 1x. We don't write the 1, so we just have an x. It's equal to x divided by the dollar five. So in this case, x is the dependent variable because it's up here. So do you see how in some situations either variable can be considered the dependent variable? It's not always x. It's not always y. It depends on the problem, okay? The constant of proportionality is the ratio of y to x which is k is equal to y divided by x. Remember, the fraction bar means division. So this is y divided by x. 
and the ratio y to x, y to x, is y divided by x like this, written as a fraction, or we could say y divided by x, or we could say y to x with a colon between the y and the x for y to x as a ratio. Here we've got some jelly beans. And the problem says two pounds of jelly beans cost $17 and six pounds cost $51. Show that the relationship between the number of pounds of jelly beans and the cost is a proportional relationship. Then write an equation for the relationship. So the first thing we do is make a table relating the cost in dollars to the pounds of jelly beans. So we've got this table with our number of pounds of jelly beans. We know two pounds is $17. It tells us two pounds cost $17. We also know that six pounds cost $51. We can use this to figure out three would be $25.50 because we could do a unit rate, couldn't we? We know to write the rates as fractions, so we put the dependent variable, the cost, in the numerator. So the cost is $17, and then we're going to put the number of pounds as the denominator. We're going to write each as a decimal. We've got $17 divided by 2 is $8.50. $8.50. So as a decimal, we've got 8.50 for 8 and 50 hundredths. For three of them, we get 8 and 50 hundredths. And for six of them, we get 8 and 50 hundredths. Well, the rates are all equal to $8.50 per pound. If the rates are all equal to $8.50 per pound, they are constant, so the relationship is proportional. The constant rate of change is $8.50 per pound. To write an equation that fits the problem, we need to first tell what the variables represent. We're going to let x represent the number of pounds of jelly beans. We're going to let y represent the cost in dollars. We're going to use the decimal form of the constant rate of change as the constant of proportionality. That's going to be the k. The equation for the relationship is y is equal to 8 and 5 tenths x. We don't need to put the 0 there, do we? We can just put 8.5. The cost is $8.50 per pound. Now we can find the cost for 4 pounds of jelly beans by substituting 4 for x and solving for y. We could put a 4 here and solve for y to find the cost for 4 pounds. To solve for y, we put y is equal to 8.5x. We substitute 4 for x, so we have $8.50 times 4. That's going to give us $34, isn't it? So we know y is equal to $34. When we solve for y, we find the value of y. So here, we solved for y. We found y is equal to $34. To solve for k, we have k is equal to y divided by x. If y is $34 and x is 4, we do 34 divided by 4, and we get the $8.50. When we solve for k, we find the value of k. Since the cost depends on the number of pounds we buy, it makes sense for the cost to be the dependent variable. The constant of proportionality k is represented by the equation k is equal to y divided by x, where y is the dependent variable, the de dependent variable is cost, so it belongs in the numerator. So we know k is cost divided by pounds, the number of pounds we buy. The table shows the number of packages for a given number of cookies. Is this a proportional relationship? We can write them as fractions, and we see that one package is 24 cookies, so we can write it as 1 over 24, that's 1 24th, and we can see three packages is 72 cookies, so we have 3 divided by 72, that's 1 24th, and we have 5 packages is 120 cookies, 
that's 5 over 120. That's 5 divided by 120. That's 1 24th. So yes, the relationship is proportional because we keep getting 1 24th. We're going to let C represent cookies and P represent packages. Our equation is P is equal to 1 24th C. The packages that we can get is equal to 1 24th times the number of cookies. So P is dependent on C. And yes, this is a proportional relationship. If we had 144 cookies and we wanted to know how many packages it was, we could substitute 144 for the C and multiply it by 1 24th and that would equal P. That would be six packages of cookies. So do you see how the number of packages of cookies is dependent on how many cookies? We're going to move on to lesson 4.3 and the first part of that lesson, there's four parts because we're including the going further part at the end. The first part is graphing proportional relationships. So we're actually going to graph these proportional relationships with X and Y values on a grid. Some of you may remember that we actually did graph proportions back in sixth grade math. I hope you'll join me for the next lesson, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.